Hi, everyone. I am Cindy Walter interviewing Ann Baranti today. Thank you, Ann, for joining us. I'm glad to be here, Cindy. And we are on week three of our 90 day game plan. So, the theme of week three, um, Isogenics is kind of put out weekly themes, is on mindset connecting and time management. So, we're going to get right into this. The reason I thought of Ann for this is because over the last almost four years, I've seen a tremendous difference in her mindset. How she came in is not how she is today. And when Anne sets her sights on something, a goal, an incentive, a promotion, a rank advancement, whatever it is, she will do it. And there's really no doubt of, um, there's no doubt that she will do it. And that's what I want her to share with you today. So I'm going to talk real quickly about a couple things that I'm doing time management wise to help you. And then we're going to move right into connecting and um, mindset with Anne. One of the things that I did, I've, I'm, I'm faithfully doing the power hour every single day along with you. We are all doing this together. We're not asking you to do something we're not doing. And one of the things I decided to do was I printed out pages. Every single person I have ever personally enrolled in four years, pages of this. And I went through and I have a lot of people who are red now. They do not have accounts. So I kind of crossed them off on my list and then I circled everyone else. And I am checking with everyone who still has an open account to see if they're in an ISO body challenge and to see if they're in healthy mind and body. Every single one I'm messaging and contacting because those of us that are participating in the Light It Up group, doing the 90 day game plan, you want points because we're working on the million dollar challenge. I am also writing down what their next rank advancement would be and how many points I will get if they rank advance, just so I can kind of plan how many points I could possibly get because if you're like me, I, well, Ann, what's your goal with the million dollar challenge? <laughs> <laughs> with our, our 90 day or I have an end of year goal, Cindy. No, you're with just with the million dollar challenge. Where is my little sheet? I have it right here. Um, like I really like the cash. I'm kind of excited. Oh, totally cash. Oh, so what is it? 200 points for $10,000. Come on, you're putting me on the spot and my organizational skills. It's over here. I promise. I got it. I got it. Okay, 1,000 points, you can earn $10,000. So guys, every little point adds up. So this is easy ways for you to get points. Everybody doing healthy mind and body, everybody doing ice body. And then check to see how close people are to rank advancing to the next level and how many points that will get you if they rank advance. It's all about you helping them rank advance also gives you points. So I went through every single one and then the people that are X'd off that are non-renewed, of course I'm gonna contact every single one of them and let them know about the special this week. Do they wanna come back? I have the same list. Uh, I went through my entire team as well. So yes. I appreciate your suggestion because this is really your roadmap Right here. I mean, you're going to get new people and I have another list. I have lists of, you know, who I'm going to connect with in the power hour. I have this right in front of me. I know you guys can't see, but that's my 10. I might have 15. Um, and so, yeah, definitely that helps me stay organized. This was is a godsend. It keeps me in the forefront of my mind so that I remember to connect with everybody. Yep. Yep. So time management wise, when you're doing your power hour, if you guys print out your personally enrolled and some of you are newer and you're not going to have pages and pages like I do or like Ann does, that's fine. Go with what you have and then your more of your time is going to be spent in prospecting and enrolling new people. And that's where the points add up quickly. If you're enrolling a lot and you're promoting people a lot, your points will add up very, very quickly. So anyway, that's my two cents on time management. Um, check that out. You might be surprised. When I went through that and figured out how many points I could possibly get, I'm like, that is $10,000 if I can make that happen. So that's my goal. That's what I'm working on. That's a great right. nugget. Woohoo! Good, good. We're going to give them more nuggets, Anne. So what I want to sh first, let's start off with connecting. You connect with people everywhere you go, um, whether it be out shopping, whether it be in an airport where you met beautiful Jackie. Do you think it's hard to connect? And how, like, can, what can you say to the people who say, I don't know how to prospect? Like, you do it everywhere. It, and it seems so easy. Help people with that. It, it is easy unless you make it hard. So there's a little, you know, statement there. Because when you stop and you pause and you second guess yourself, it becomes hard. And that's true for anything we do. So really, you're just connecting heart to heart. 
And often you, you have to be in the mindset that this is a gift and that you can help someone. And perhaps the conversation doesn't lead to that. Then you're just loving on someone. Mm -hmm. But I really feel, you know, I, I tell this story and I've told it before, but in the beginning that was not, yes, I'm, I'm friendly, but to have this in, intentional conversation that's gonna to lead to isogenics can be intimidating and that's okay. Do it anyway. Set a goal. Today, when I go to the grocery store, I'm going to just talk to one person. And for some of us, that's easy. Don't think about isogenics in the beginning. Just connect. And when you walk out, say, now, that was great. Celebrate that you did that. And think about, if I had a little more confidence, how could I have led that conversation to isogenics? So I think it's just being pure. And, and I want to touch on Jackie St. John because I almost, four years in, three and a half years in, did not talk about isogenics with her. And that is a big, big aha moment for me. I'm in the airport. It's 5.30 in the morning. You know, I've got my glasses on. I'm out the door. I hope the kids are all set. And, and I meet this woman with these cute shoes. So I say, your shoes are adorable. We chitty chatted. She said, oh, your stomach's so flat, whatever. <laughs> and she goes on her way. And I take my little suitcase and I go on my way. And I, on one shoulder was, say something, say something. She said, your stomach was flat. And on the other shoulder was, oh, just go, come on. Oh, she doesn't want to hear from you. You know, it's too early in the morning. And then, this is where I want to really impress people right here. Am I really in this? Am I really committed to transforming lives, including my own? The answer is absolutely yes. So I turned myself around, went back, and I, I, I had an intentional conversation. Hey, you had mentioned that, X, Y, Z. Would you want to connect on Facebook? Simple. Mm -hmm. It's intentional. You products that day. You just wanted to connect on Facebook. And you know what? She was a lovely woman. I, I messaged her immediately about having a great time with her beautiful grandchildren, and I honestly never thought I'd hear from her. But... Yeah, I was okay with that, but I, I want to be honest that here I am three and a half years in and Cindy, you can attest to this. We're all busy. We all wear many hats and you've got to just pause enough to be intentional with your conversations and be brave enough and courageous enough to just do it anyway. And, and I call think somebody. A, a call huge somebody. part of it is taking yourself out of the equation. It doesn't matter what I look like at 530 in the morning. It doesn't matter if you know, you know, so many people are worried about how they're going to come across. Am I going to come across pushy or salesy where, no, you came across as a woman who took a genuine interest in her. Now you've built this beautiful friendship, this great business relationship. Absolutely. All because you complimented her genuinely about a pair of shoes. It's not hard. We do overcomplicate it. You can meet Absolutely. anywhere, anytime. And all you have to do is take out your phone and say, hey, would you like to connect on Facebook? You don't have to say, hey, I'm a health and wellness coach and I sell products that help people lose weight. You don't have to say any of that. Hey, would you like to connect on Facebook? They'll know soon enough that you're, you're doing something and that time will come. But if you're constantly about meeting other people, making new friends, and you're genuine about it, it, it that's, that's all it is. We overcomplicate it. Absolutely. And I, I really, really, really feel strongly that just love on them. And I'm sure all the leaders have that same fame. Just love on people where they're at. They may never, I met the most amazing woman in Georgia. I could go on about her amazing athletic family and they're affluent and affluent and everything else. And isogenics has never come up. And I may never bring it up. We're friends on Facebook. We're friends all over the place. We text each other. She's never asked. It's not time yet. And it might never be time, but boy, I met this really cool lady. Mm -hmm. It will come up at some point when the timing is right. And that's the thing. It, it's really about them and when the timing is right for them. If, if there's a hole, if there's a need, she's going to know who to come to. Right. And that also just makes me think about, again, I know we've talked about this, but when I was at Celebration, every time we go to an event, you take away something and you might take away something different because you're in a different place in your business or in your life as I am. And, and this year, just real quick, was the Isobody Challenge. And just seeing those 15 people up there and honestly getting real with myself, how many people would I have approached on that stage? Not even half of them. And look at where their lives have been transformed. It's not about me. 
thoughts about them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So let's talk about mindset. I've watched you do this a few times now. And those of you that don't know this, Ann and I actually went to high school together. I'm from Connecticut and she was a year ahead of me in high school and we rode the same bus and we we knew each other in high school and haven't seen each other in a a million years until isogenics. But um, what's been so fun for me to watch is when you set a goal, that's it. You don't care if you have to go out and sell a hundred thousand canisters of orange cream shake you're going to achieve your goal and i saw you do this when we did a little incentive on a on a boat ride for a celebration we did a, a small incentive for that one year i've seen you do it for rank advancements when you make a decision you commit to it but it's not just committing like saying what your 90 day game plan goal is and just putting it out there and writing it a few times you make a plan you strategize how you're going to achieve it, and then you achieve it. And if, if I can have you leave these wonderful, amazing team members of ours with one thing today, that's what I want you to give them that nugget of. How do you get your mind wrapped around a goal that sometimes is daunting and scary and hard and seems unachievable? How do you do that? How? It's a great question. I, I hope that I can answer it to the best of my ability, here it goes. It's really down to expectation because, and I've asked myself that same question because I have really <laughs> reached some pretty crazy things, you know, in 48 hours, I, I just decide, and that's that word, decide, I'm gonna do it. And I really don't know, I just hone in, it's not an option. I don't feel like I'm going to fail if I don't hit it, but I just know I'm going to hit it. It's when you know that you know that you know, and you just open your mind up. It's you leave your ego over here and you just get determined. And I think the bigger question is why am I doing this? Really? Why am I doing this? And we talk about our why all the time. And my why has changed from in the beginning. I don't even know what my why was. Woo. I was having fun. And then, you know, but when you know your why, you just go for it. And, and I love a challenge. So that's personality based as well. Maybe some people will um, retract in a challenge and feel intimidated or start with the negative self-talk. And one thing I've learned is um, with the assistance of my coach, that we have the same coach, is I said, why, why do I always achieve anything I ever really set my mind to? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Whatever it is. It could be the craziest thing because that's my expectation I have set for myself. Mm-hmm. So if you have negative self-talk or you're, you're kind of blowing wind and you really don't mean it in your heart and in your soul and you have that, that doubt, then you're probably not really going to achieve it because it's not residing deep with you. So it's just about getting real and getting excited. I, I just get excited. I love it. I, my husband goes, oh, here she goes. I mean, getting on that boat last year, I'm on vacation, you guys, two years in a row. I'm, you know, having a week with my kids and I have this opportunity and I, I think I had to get 14 enrollments, whatever. And I, I go through, just so you all know, I go through a period where I'm not doing that. That's freaking crazy. I can't do that. How am I going to do that? I go through this self chatter every time. So that's normal. The difference is then I make a plan and making a plan makes all the difference. One of the things that I have learned that's helped me, that I, this is my nugget that's helped me with my mindset, is I used to think about and focus on what I wasn't doing, or what could I have done differently, or, or that didn't go as I anticipated, or that really sucked, or that was hard. Okay, so there's some negativity there, and I can still have those moments, but when I wake up, or if I start to go there, which is okay to go there once in a while, wall kicking moments, I stop and I pause with intention. What can I do today? What am I going to commit to today? And it could be power hour. And then I'm going to celebrate it. And, and so with a bigger goal, what can I do today? You know, and, but it is so important to have a plan, to have a roadmap, and to get excited about it. This is supposed to be fun. It's, mm-hmm. it's fun. I, it's a blast. Make it a blast. Yeah. And I think like the tip that I just gave you guys, you know, f- go to the million dollar challenge, figure out how many points you do you want to earn and plan how you're going to get there. If I want to get a thousand points, I have to work my tush off. I, I have to dot every I and cross every T and figure out how I can get these points. Your goal may not be the same as mine. If you want to get a hundred points, 50 points, whatever you, you want, figure out, map out how you're going to get there. So Anne will figure out what she needs to do how much, how many enrollments she needs, how she's going to possibly do this. And then she does it. 
day in and day out. We all go through those wall kicking moments. I mean, I have a very successful business. Do I get upset? Do I get bummed out? Oh yeah. What I have to do is kind of walk away from it for a little bit and then I come back with, with total focus again. But we all have to figure out how to get back there because we're all going to go through it. Right. And I think it's important for us to understand that we're all different personalities. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's helped me too, and I've learned this from, from you, Cindy, and from Susan and all the other leaders, and this is a new business for me and I love it. In the beginning, you know, I wasn't quite sure about it. Reach up, reach down, find 10 or 15 minutes to help someone make it about somebody else. And, and no, is that income producing? Not necessarily, but maybe that's going to give you back some of your energy or you're going to realize you have a greater purpose here and just step outside of the meism. It's about someone else. This is really a journey about someone else. You're serving other people and you're benefiting from it, but it's always about someone else. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I do want to share, and I know we talked about this, is I did, I've done a lot of different coaching. I, I say I have my bachelor's in isogenics because I've been on this journey for four years and I've learned so much. And one of the things I did is I, I did hire a coach for NLP neuro-linguistic programming. And so that's a lot with mindset work. And so in ISA for Wealth, I am going to do a small exercise that I hope all of you will participate in to really show you the power of your mind because it really does come down to one word and that's belief. So, and, and we talk about that belief in yourself, you know, network marketing, belief in yourself, period, and in the compensation and in your business and your, you know, all those different things. But really to be good at anything is about belief it is absolutely so I, I I really am excited to do that exercise over an ISA for wealth um, it's it'll be awesome yeah and more people will be reached there too so get over there and watch that and have your team members watch that she's gonna do that for us and you know first of all thank you because you do so much for our team you guys all know and love Anne. she's so great with our um, whenever we do a 30-day challenge she starts a new group and she gets help from our other leaders and we've done several really successful 30-day challenges so that's just one of the very few many many things that you do for our team but I want to thank you I love working with you and partnering with you and love watching your success and determination and what I really want to leave everybody with is if Ann can do this if I can do this you guys can do this you know we we have no different qualities than you have we just want this and we want to help people and in if that's the one thing that maybe differentiates us from other people is you know this love serve care um, Paige Duncan gave me this before I even read the carpenter and then I read the carpenter and realized why she sent me this and this is our team right here in a, in a nutshell and epitomizes this and that's what's making her such a great success and a, and a great leader for our team but that's what we want for all of you guys so like Ann said reach out reach up ask for help and you've got to find the belief in you it, it, it has to be there you already believe in the company you believe in the products you believe in the leadership of the company you have to believe that you can achieve your goals in order to achieve them plug in plug in plug in I remember Susan saying plug in plug in like you plug in your cell phone and although it's not again not income producing it will be eventually you've got to create a new habit You've got to create a new a new mindset. If you want to work out in the gym and you want a bicep that's amazing, it doesn't happen in one day. Your business isn't going to grow in one day. But with daily action, that power hour is amazing. And just mindset, mindset, mindset. And a, map it out. Map it out. Yep. Awesome. All right. So you guys post something, some great nugget you got from this video training today underneath um, the post. And we will do a drawing next week. And one of you will be our lucky winner. And thanks again, Ann. You did a great oh, job. Sweetheart. Just love working with you. My pleasure. Love you too. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye guys.